morning or whatever time you're watching this. I wanted to, I was invited by Heather over at Heather Rose Up to do a collab video on a uh, summer favorite dessert recipe. Um, this is a take on um, like a s'more, basically, but it's a pretty low point one. And uh, I wanted to thank Heather first off uh, for inviting me to be part of this collab. I'm going to leave a link to her channel down below along with all the other great YouTubers that are going to be part of this collab. Uh, there's quite a few of us, so you can't say that you're not going to come up with at least one dessert idea that you like. But um, this, uh, according, I found this one on the Weight Watcher app, believe it or not. It's a uh, strawberry cream chocolate cookie. Um, although I am doing it a little bit different because with the pandemic and uh, shopping, it's kind of hard to find some of the ingredients. And one of the ingredients, you know, like not always, like if you're trying to make bread, trying to find bread dough. That'll give you a hint. That'll give you, a, it's just scarce. But this recipe I usually make with a chocolate graham cracker. And when, if I use a chocolate graham cracker, it's three points. Um, my Kroger's does not have chocolate graham crackers. Uh, they, don't, they only had the low fat cinnamon graham crackers. So I thought, well, you know, I'll try it. And I have to say that I do like it better than the chocolate. And you know, who could go wrong with chocolate? I know. But, uh, just the low fat and the cinnamon taste with the strawberries, it just, it come off really well. It really did. And uh, it's just a simple basic recipe. And with this recipe, um, with the low fat graham crackers, it brought it down to two points for each one. And when you, you see how big it is, it's more than filling for two points. It's a very satisfying dessert. Uh, I've never really made them ahead of time, so I don't know if they'll keep in the refrigerator. I kind of think that the graham cracker might go a little soggy. But it's a quick enough dessert that you can make it while people are just standing there. And uh, it's just it's just so quick and easy. I like to use the Ready Whip um, because it's just a couple squirts. And um, it's 11 grams if you use it, or two tablespoons if you want to measure it out. Um, but uh, the recipe calls for a light Cool Whip. I usually don't have Cool Whip because um, it's just, it doesn't keep in the refrigerator as long as the Ready Whip does. I like to, every once in a while, put a little squirt of Ready Whip on a sugar-free chocolate pudding. Uh, if you just put a quick little squirt, it, the points don't even really add up. I mean, even if it was one point, 11 grams on a little sugar-free um, cup is too much whipped cream. Whoever thought of too much whipped cream, but it is a little bit too much whipped cream. But uh, this is my uh, my take on it. And uh, when we're up at the cottage and stuff, uh, at the cottage and stuff, when we're up at the cottage, or if my grandkids are here at night, if we just want a quick little treat, we just get the graham crackers out. I, I've always got strawberries and uh, and the whip and the ready whip, and uh, it's a quick little treat and it's very good. So I hope you like it. I think that we were supposed to also include a quick tip that helps us through the summer um, to stay on track. I um, I make my own. I make like a, a cucumber salad, which is very basic. It's just cucumbers and cherry tomatoes and some red onions that I chop up and I put it, um, you know, bite them, cut them up into bite-sized pieces and put them in a bowl. And then I use the uh, Panera pan poppy seed dressing and mix it together and it's a one point salad. And so if I'm gonna go somewhere, I always make it, I make enough to pass around, but I know that I can at least have a one point salad that's very filling. I also uh, make a point of having um, fruits and vegetables already cleaned, ready to go, grab. In the morning, uh, if you watch my video, a lot of times I'll have like a big platter of fruits and vegetables on the platter. And I'll say it's my breakfast, but it's really not my breakfast. It's just something I'm going to graze on through the whole day. But I just show it the one time and include it as my breakfast and show you the points. But I think just to have a quick ready snack that you can grab that's really low points. Uh, always, I always, in the on Sundays, boil a dozen eggs. So that uh, my husband and I, if we ever want to just grab an egg for an egg salad sandwich or just have an egg, which on the blue plan is zero points, because uh, I'm on the blue plan, that works for me. So um, enough babbling. Let's get on with the video. The video is going to be quick and to the point because uh, it's very easy to make, and I, I hope you like it. Uh, if you do try it, let me know. Uh, if you want to check out any of my other recipes, go on my playlist section of the uh, videos on my homepage, and I have quite a few recipes listed that you can check out. So. Um, let's get started. Okay, these are the ingredients you're going to need. Um, like I said, the um, recipe calls for a chocolate graham cracker. Uh, with the uh, shortages in the grocery stores now, 
Um, it was I'm hard pressed to find a chocolate graham cracker, so I'm going to try the uh, low fat cinnamon uh, cracker, and it is um, four crackers, four points for eight crackers, but it's only one point for two crackers because of the serving size. Um, let me see, the serving size is one serving is two full cracker sheets. So uh, this is only going to be a one point cracker for two of them. So that's pretty good. And then um, some strawberries. Uh, I'm going to use the Ready Whip. Um, you can use either, this is because this is what I have in the fridge. Uh, it's two tablespoons or 11 grams is one point. And it's the same if you use like a light Cool Whip. It's two points, uh, one point rather for two tablespoons or um, 11 grams. So either way you do it. And then um, the strawberry slicer and the uh, core to core my strawberries. And then I'm going to measure out, I'm going to weigh out um, the whipped cream once I put it on the crackers uh, onto the grams. And I'll show you when I get to that point. But uh, first off, I'm going to uh, core the strawberries. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my graham crackers on the scale. Then I'm going to um, set it to grams, and then I'm going to put 11 grams of whipped whip cream on there. Oh, I might not even need 11. Well, it's close enough. It's 10. Then I'm going to take a strawberry that I've sliced, and I'm just going to Put it on there. Oh, that one came up a little thick. So it's just one strawberry I'm putting on there. You know what? I'm going to... I think what I'm going to do is just add that last little one just to the top. The last little gram. And then put the cracker on top. And there's the cracker. So um, let's use another cracker, try it again. Zero it out. So this time you, you learn each time you do it. So I'm going to just put half of it on each one. I'm going to take my other strawberry. Put it on top. This is quick and easy. So you, you can make them ahead of time and put them in the fridge. The cracker does get a little soggy, so I, won't, I wouldn't put it in too long. And let's go see how the girls like it. I'm going to make one more for me, but you don't need to see that. Okay, the three of us are going to try this. It's just whipped cream and strawberries on a graham cracker. They're going to be messy to eat because I didn't break them in half yet, but we're going to see how we like them. Let's see, this is what they look like. Okay, ready, set, go. Mm. Oh, it's so what do we think? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. It was good. It's uh, The way I made it is one point for the graham cracker with the low-fat cinnamon graham cracker, one point for 11 grams of um, Ready Whip, and zero for the strawberries. Nice little treat. Hope you like it. And it's quick and easy to make. You can make them just while the kids are standing there. You don't necessarily need to measure out the exact ingredients for a child, but for yourself. It's a quick little snack you can make yourself. And um, it's delicious. So thank you for watching. Well, once again, I wanted to thank Heather over at Heather Rose Up. Thank you, Heather, for including me in on this collab. Um, like I said, uh, 
if, if kids like it, you know it's got to be somewhat good. So I have to say that I do like, that was the first time I've done it with the low-fat cinnamon graham cracker, and I do like it better. I really do like it better than the chocolate one. And uh, want less points. Can't go wrong with that. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm on a weight loss journey. I have lost 93 pounds so far. I am um, getting very close. I'm within seven pounds of hitting my 100-pound goal, obviously. It's 93 from take away 100, take away 93 is seven. And I am um, about 11 pounds away from uh, getting to Wonderland. So stay with me. This is going to be a fun summer. It really is. I know with the pandemic going on, it's kind of like, Ugh. but we'll have fun. We will. So if you're not, if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button and hit the little ringy dingy do the bell so that you, the notification bell, so that you know when I put up a video, I put up a daily video. Occasionally I put up a recipe. I love doing collabs. I love doing tags. And, um, I also um, do the meeting highlights on Saturday mornings. I usually have it posted before uh, noon on uh, Eastern Standard Time on Saturdays. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I end all my videos telling you to be safe because uh, we can we can uh, we can overcome this. We really can. We just have to be safe. So I'll talk to you guys on my daily vlog. Please subscribe.